Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about lymph node assessment in people who have breast cancer. I'll talk about what lymph nodes are, why we want to look at your lymph nodes, what to expect, and recovery time. First, what are lymph nodes? Lymph nodes are also called lymph glands, or just glands. You know how when you get a sore throat, a scratchy throat, or a cold, you might have swollen glands in your neck? These are the same things. Basically, the breast tissue drains to the lymph nodes under the arm, that's called the axilla, and also sometimes to lymph nodes behind the breastbone, or behind the sternum, and also above the clavicle, the collarbone. We have lymph nodes in this entire region. We want to know whether the lymph nodes are involved for two reasons. First, it helps us decide how much surgery should be done on somebody who has breast cancer. And second, what treatments are important for you to receive. Both chemotherapy and radiation therapy will be determined by whether or not your lymph nodes have cancer in them, and if so, how many. How do we know which lymph nodes to remove? Well, the first thing we do is if the lymph nodes are enlarged on ultrasound or on our physical exam, it's very likely that you'll have a fine needle aspirate, and if those are positive lymph nodes, then you will have an axillary lymph node assessment. The number of lymph nodes that we remove is unknown to us until the pathologist looks at the tissue that the surgeon removes from under your arm. What should you expect after a sentinel lymph node assessment? Well, this is done by a surgeon. This is actually an operation. You'll have most likely an incision under your arm that might be a couple of inches long. Sometimes it can be done along with the breast surgery that's done on the breast, but in most cases, it's a separate operation. You'll usually have a drain, which is a small flexible tube put in in that area to remove any fluid that accumulates in the few days following surgery. To retain your arm function and range of motion, you'll be instructed to do exercises after your surgery. If you still have problems with your range of motion after lymph node assessment, a physical therapist can help you get that range of motion back. It's important to let us know if you have any restriction or continued pain when you move your arm. I hope this has been helpful to you. Visit yerba.com if you want to learn more. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. This will help other people find this video.